each other, share with each other, share with each other and celebrate. Share with each other, share with each other, share with each other and celebrate. Gather together, gather together, gather together and celebrate. Gather together, gather together, gather together and celebrate. Good morning. Welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word. My name is Tish. This is my husband, Mike. Hello. Today we're celebrating the 23rd Sunday of Ordinary Time. We'll start with the first reading. And the first reading is a reading from the prophet Ezekiel. This is what God said to me. You must watch over my people. Whatever I tell you to say to them, you must say. When I tell you to warn people you are doing evil things, you must tell them. If you don't warn them for me, I will blame you for what they do. You will be as bad as they are, and you too will be punished. If you do warn them, and still they go on sinning, it's not your fault. They will be punished, but you will not. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's all do the response together. I praise you, O God. I praise you, O God. For your faithful love. For your faithful love. I praise you, O God. I praise you, O God. For all that you do. For all that you do. Very good. Now we'll do the gospel activation. If Jesus said. Jesus said. Epiphatha, epiphatha. Epiphatha, epiphatha. Be open. Be open. And the man could hear and talk. 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 Jesus said, Jesus said, Epiphatha, 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 Be open, Be open, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Okay, now we'll do the gospel. And the gospel is in the good news, it's in the New Testament, and it's a reading from the Gospel of Matthew. And for the gospel we do what? Yes, that's right. We stand up. We do that out of reverence and honor. Then we make the sign of the cross how many times? That's correct. Three times. We first start over our forehead. We go up and down and then across. We do that because we're asking the Lord to open our minds and help us understand what's being read because sometimes it can be very hard. Then over our lips. We go up and down and then across. We do that because we're asking the Lord to help us remember what we learned so we might get the chance to Tell someone else what we learned or answer a question or something of that nature. Uh, and then over our hearts, we go up and down and then across. We do that because we're asking the Lord to help us remember to be more friendly and neighborly to everyone we meet this week. Now we listen to the gospel. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother or sister does something wrong, go and talk to that person alone. Just the two of you. If the person listens to you and stops doing wrong, then you've been very helpful. But if that person won't listen to you, take two or three other people with you and try again. If the person won't listen to them either, tell it to the Christian community. And if they're not gonna listen to the community, then that person is not very kind and he's going to keep on sinning. Then Jesus said, I tell you honestly, whenever two or three of you agree to pray about something, God will do it. For wherever two or three people are gathered together in my name, I am there with them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Go and have a seat right where you are. I want to explain the first reading, and Michael's going to explain the gospel. In the first reading, the prophet Ezekiel, 
the messenger of God. Okay, he's telling about warning people. Okay, warn the people when they do bad things. Okay, um, your brothers and sisters, when you see them doing something wrong, do you go and tell them, hey, don't do that, you're going to get in trouble, you know, you're going to get mama mad, you know, or do you just keep quiet and let them get in trouble, okay? But God is showing us that when we see someone doing something wrong or hurting, you know, let's say it's a, your brother or sister, you could tell them, or if it's your best friend, you could say something. You know, but if you don't say something and they get hurt, is it your fault too? God is saying that we have to protect others. He's telling us, love God above all things, right? But love your neighbor as you love yourself, you know, and that's pretty, that's tough because we like ourselves pretty much and it's okay. You know, but that's how we're supposed to love our fellow. And so we want to make sure they don't get hurt. They don't get their feelings hurt. Or they don't get physically hurt, you know. And so God is telling us to be sensitive to others. And to respect others. And to warn them, you know, that they won't, you know, it's to... Remind us of them, okay? So the gospel is very similar to that one uh, where it's asking you to, uh, if someone is doing something wrong, you should tell them and let them know. Hopefully they'll listen to you and not do it anymore. And if they don't, that's fantastic. Uh, you did very well. Uh, sometimes it won't, it won't be enough. Uh, you know, it'll take a couple people to tell them, hey, don't do this and stuff. So uh, she talked about family. We're going to do the gospel more toward um, your friends and stuff. So it's always good to have good friends and stuff, uh, but sometimes they might want to do something wrong or silly or something. And if you think it might hurt somebody or something like that, you might want to tell them, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, they're not going to like us. They're going to be mean to us or something of that nature too. So you got to remember, do unto others as you want them to do unto you. So it, with that in mind, if you think of something your friend wants to do and you say, no, that, let's not do that, that's, that's not going to be good. Uh, hopefully they will listen to you. If not, then if you have another friend to help out in telling the person not to do this, hey, there's two of us that says it's not a good idea, hopefully they will listen. If it's a person that does... Uh, hurts people or does bad things all the time, you may need to break away from that person a little bit because usually what happens is, is they do something, everybody with them gets in trouble. So uh, even though the rest of them didn't do it, very common in a shopping center when people are all gathered together with their friends, and if one of them breaks something, everybody gets in trouble, not just the one. So this is why it comes into important to um, help your friends not to do things. And hopefully they'll remind you in case you come up with an idea that might not be so good. Hopefully they'll tell you too. And then you should listen. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's not a good idea. Thank you. And then you go on doing good things. Uh, that's the idea. So can I help each other do that? So, um, and then you'll have good quality friends. You'll have a lot of fun. And uh, you won't get in trouble as much. So, and that's what you try to avoid. Okay, so something to think about. Okay, all right. I uh, brought a couple things to show. So, um, first off, what's the name of the leader of the Catholic Church? What do we call him? If you said Pope, that's correct. Now, heh, couldn't find my recent one. This is John, Pope John Paul II. He's the one that retired, and uh, Pope Francis is now. But it gives you an idea. They're usually an older gentleman. Oh, he did pass away. It's Pope Benedict that's still around. Oh, that's right. I got it mixed up. Sorry. 
Yeah, this one did pass away. Uh, and then uh, they wear that little hat there called a zapeto. <laughs> and so um, that, that's what a pope looks like. Now, uh, now, how many popes have we had since Jesus? Remember who was the first pope? If you said Peter, you are correct. Uh, St. Peter was the first bishop, first pope. And then when he died, they got another one. When he died, they got another one. When he died, they got another one. And it kept going all the way till today. Now, let's see if we can get this into the picture. And this is kind of large, so I'm not sure how that'll work. So, closer. Okay, honey, if you hold this side, just the top, honey. The rest, uh, is that good? Okay, so that's the first pope, Peter. Then we'll raise it up a little bit, all the way down to the bottom where the new one is. And that's number 265. That's a lot of popes, huh? So remember, he lived, he died, then another one. He died, then another one. Then he died, then another one. Now, sometimes popes last, you know, for years. And some of the popes, they only lived for like six months, four months, died, they had to get another one. <laughs> so it keeps on going. Kind of neat, huh? That's a lot of popes. But we've been here for how long? Do you remember? Hint. What year is it? That's right. 2,020 years. That's the number. Huh? Something to think about. Kind of neat. Okay. okay. Now what we'll do is we'll say the Apostles Creed all together. Okay. I, I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. And now what we'll do is the prayers of the faithful. We pray for the church, for Pope Francis, for bishops, priests, and deacons, religious and officers of the people of God, in love and faithfulness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear yeah. our prayer. We pray for our parents and family members who love us and care for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parishioners who may be sick or alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And then once again, we pray for anything you think of, whether you're in the car, in your room, at home, or just before you go to sleep, or you think of someone, or you saw someone that could use a prayer or, you, uh, or some help. Uh, we ask the Lord, we ask you to say it silently. And we ask the Lord to hear that prayer and to answer it as quickly as he can. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Well, we'd like to thank you. It was so good to see you. And we look forward to seeing you next week. And we hope that you have a good week. Okay? Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Tell a friend. Bye-bye. Gather together, gather together, gather together and celebrate. Gather.